Hello everyone, in this video we will see what are the different ways to send an email in ServiceNow. We use emails in ServiceNow to send on an event for example a ticket is assigned to someone or even a new ticket is opened and we want to send email to the caller of the ticket that your ticket has been raised and there are many other custom scenarios as well. So we will be taking a look at all the ways in which we can send those emails. My name is Hardit Singh and welcome to my channel and please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. The first way to send an email is through notifications. You will create a new notification or a new email and you can configure in when to send tab or section in which conditions you want to send that email. There are configuration fields or you can say drop downs available or the columns available as per the table you have selected and yet you can put the conditions on that. And when those conditions are true for an event, the email is fired. We will see this in a demo and in the demo what we will be doing is send an email to the assignee of the incident ticket when the priority of an incident is changed. So as soon as the priority of an existing ticket is changed, we will send an email to assignee of the ticket that priority of this particular incident number has changed. Let's quickly jump to service now and create a notification for this. I'm in service now. I will type notifications and under system notification email, I will click on notifications and we would be able to see all the notifications which are present in the system right now there are approximately 491 i will click on new and now i have to give the name of the notification which i can say incident priority changed and i will select the name of the table which is the incident table i will type incident here and select this and then you can categorize all the notifications which you are creating under a certain category for example if you are creating for incident you can go ahead and create a new category for incident maybe for change or for some other custom thing you are doing so you just have to click on this magnifier button and click on new and then you can select that particular category or there are some categories which are out of the box you can use them as well i will leave it as uncategorized as of now and then under when to send we will give the condition when do actually we want to send this email so according to our use case we have to send this email when the priority of the incident is changed there are three options the first option is record inserted or updated we will select this one and we will just send an email when the record is updated and not inserted because at insertion the email is already going out out of the box and then i will say here priority and then changes so when the priority changes this notification will be fired and then we have to give who will receive this email now i will select from users assigned to field so whosoever is assigned to this ticket will receive that email also if you want to send this email to some particular user you can do it from here and select the existing users which are in the system or maybe you can directly send to a particular email alternatively if you want to send to a group or the assignment group you can select from here then finally what the notification will contain here you will have to give a subject for example i will give priority of the incident changed and then we have to give the body of the email and i can say hi and then we can have some dynamic variables here as well if i expand this fields all the fields of the incident table are shown here and then i can maybe select assign to here i'll just click on this and it will be automatically added the body section i can remove this text whatever is after dollar and the in this bracket and the backend name of the column that would be dynamic and then i'll put a comma and then i can say priority of the incident number and then i can give the number of the incident which i can find here and select number and i'll just remove this text has been changed and then maybe thanks admin and i will save this 
and as soon as it is saved this means it is active and anything from now onwards if any inc incidence priority change will be fired because this is active one thing which i forgot to tell is you can use the email templates if you have built your own custom templates for your organization you can use those templates as well and then you can override the subject or the message email or maybe have email scripts we will discuss email scripts in further videos now to test our notification we will go to the incident list and we will create a new incident and as soon as we create a new incident and then update the priority again and save that record a new email should be fired to the assigned to we will give the caller as able tutor and we can say the description as this is a notification demo and then we will give an assignment group maybe for example database and then i will give assigned to as maybe fred luddy and i will save this record if you note currently the priority of this incident is 5 planning and now we will update that to maybe 1 and i will select 1 here and then 1 here and we will change the priority to the critical and i will add the work notes test maybe and i will save this record just ignore these messages and as soon as this record is saved I will go to outbox where all the emails in your PDI will be saved or they will depict these emails are supposed to go out which actually don't go out because in your PDI this functionality has been stopped to send the email out but if you are using your organization's service now instance for testing you can see those emails under the sent folder from here and actually these two tables are have this is email table as their base so there is nothing to distinguish you can just actually click on all and also see that but the mailbox here is different for outbox and for the sent folder i cannot see my email right now i'll just click here again and we can see our email which was sent to fred luddy and the subject says priority of the incident changed and i will just preview the email body by clicking here on the related links and we can see the dynamic data here where it says hi Fred Luddy and the incident number of our test record so this is the first way how can we send a notification when we have a very simple use case scenario and we don't have any complicated conditions we can use this way to send an email now the second way to send an email is through events so we will send an email on some specific event for example if the assigned to is updated or maybe again the priority is changed or if something is happening in a change ticket and there are related incidents to that and we want to send an email in all the incidents to maybe assigned to or the callers then we can use this event functionality so this is for scenarios which are slightly more complicated then we have to define these events in the event registry we will call these events in the business rules and then event will call the notification which would we create so first of all we will have a business rule written on some specific condition maybe after update or after insert before update insert and if you want to learn more about business rules please click on the top right corner and, and then through business rule event will be called and this event will in turn call the notification so first of all we will create an event in the event registry so now in the demo we will send an email to assignee of the ticket again when the subcategory is updated to antivirus so this is a pretty straightforward use case and we can use the first way also but, but to demonstrate this event how does it work and how can we send an email through this we will just take a simple example now I will go to ServiceNow and create an event. We are in ServiceNow again and I will type event here and I will scroll at the bottom and under system policy events I will click on registry 
and then I will click on new to create a new event and usually we give the name of the event separated by period character or you can say dot and what that event is so in our case we can say incident sub category updated and then we have to give the table name so it is not mandatory here but it's essential to give because if you want to send that email or the event on some particular condition in a table you should give this I will select this and then you can give here when it is being fired by which business rule so this is a text field and this is for your information purposes and the description I will save this and after that we have to create a notification for this I'll click on notifications I'll click on new and we will quickly create a new notification for this I will give the name as sub category updated and the table is selected as incident already and then in when to send I will select here event is fired and a new field has come up here and from here we have to select at what event this email should be fired or this notification I'll just search for our event which we just created so it's in incident dot subcategory dot updated I have selected this and then I will give who will receive and I will quickly select here assign to and what it will contain is subcategory is updated and in the message I will again uh, maybe give hi and then I will select assign to here and I can say subcategory has been updated to antivirus and then thanks so this is a quick email or notification which will be sent to the assigned to of the incident ticket I will save this here now I will go back to my event no I am in the event which we had created and I will click on business rules and it will take me to the list of business rule which belong to the incident table I will click here on new and I will create a new business rule and I will define on what event this event should be called so I will give the name of this business rule maybe subcategory updated and click on advanced and I can say after update and then I will give the condition as subcategory changes to antivirus and then I will go to advanced tab and I will paste a line of code here which calls the event and this is out of the box function gs dot event queue and then we have to give the name of the event and then the current record is being passed in this function and then next two parameters are the param1 and param2 parameters which we can use in our notification or in the scripts if we are calling the event so these are useful for the advanced conditions I have just given the parameters here for your demonstration purpose I will save this and as soon as this business rule is saved the event is activated and whenever somebody changes the subcategory to antivirus an email would be fired just for your information I will take you back to the notifications and I will show you the subcategory updated notification which we had created and I will just show you the param1 and param2 parameters and where we can use them and if I scroll down here who will receive so you would see event param1 contains the recipient or even param2 contains the recipient so we can use those parameters to send the recipient as well and in the script we can retrieve those values through script and use them if we want let's quickly go to the, an existing ticket which we had just created for our first demo and I will change the subcategory to antivirus and save this and then as soon as it is saved I will again go to the outbox folder and I'll open this now we can see the subject of that notification subcategory is updated has been sent and if I scroll down at bottom I will be able to see the preview of the email 
so high fred lady sub category has been updated to antivirus also i would like to highlight one thing if we go to event and scroll down at the bottom and go to event logs we would be able to see what are the events which were fired in the service now instance and here we can see our event which was fired a minute ago and it has all the details so in param1 you can see for example the incident number which we used is being passed and in param2 we had passed the name of the user so that is the admin because i'm using the system admin account so here you can see the status of the event so it might be a possibility it is ready and it has not been processed if there is a load on your service now instance but it has already been processed and if there is some error it will show as error. please don't forget to like this video and if you have any questions let me know in comments and do subscribe to my channel